it's so loud here. Oh, where are we? Dumbass. Come on, babe. Watch where you're walking, man. You almost stepped on my shoes. Uh, was that guy even wearing shoes? Ah, I hate this place. I already almost became roadkill. Oh, my God. Where are we? Whoa. We're in a whole city. It's like a bustling metropolis out here. I wasn't expecting this. I guess at this point we should come to expect the unexpected. <sighs> it's so futuristic here. What kind of tech do you think made a city like this? I don't know. But I'm sure my pal Blake would have been able to figure it out. Ugh, oh, guys, I'm starving. Can we get some of that delicious greasy street food? It seems like a nice city. Usually they got good food. Uh, yeah, I guess we could try and find a food truck. I'm sure there's one down here. Well, let's just walk down the road a bit. Yeah, right, come on. Spirit change! Spirit change! Spirit change! Hey, it's healthy. Eh, I guess not every universe is so kind to him. Sir, with the half burnt off face, do you got his spirit change on you? Oh, uh, sorry, bud. Uh, I don't got my wallet. No. Ah, what's the point? Ain't none of the richy rich folk that can spare a dime even got a wallet anymore. They got them fancy new brain implants that store all their crypto for them. Jeez, this place really is futuristic. Oh, Springtrap, what's the holdup? Candy's practically gnawing on my arm, he's so hungry. Okay, never mind, he is gnawing on my arm. Sorry. Either of you got any spare change? Ah, uh, no, sorry, bud. Ah. I used to be something. I used to be a truck driver. And then they got them self-driving cars, and now I can't even afford a studio apartment. Oh, life's a pity. Jeez, can't help but feel bad for this guy. How do things get this bad? Well, you know, like I said, all the richy rich folk nowadays are stuck with the big tech. Ever since Weaselware came into town. Wait, 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 what's the, the, the weaselware? Say that again? The richy rich folk got their brain implants. Oh, that, that, the other thing. Oh, yeah, weaselware. They came into town and everything just got all messed up. Practically took the whole economy from under our fingertips. That's an interesting name for a tech company. It's my tech company. Well, okay, the tech division. Excuse me? You own a tech company? You don't know the first thing about computers. Well, okay, I don't own the company. My friend Blake does. He wanted to experience with technology in the pub, and, well, I gave him his own little division. Named it Weaselware. I figured it'd just be a little alliteration thing to roll off the tongue. Do you think there's another Pop Goes in this universe that might somehow own the economy or something? No, okay, if the track record is right, I think Blake might own Weaselware. <laughs> Mr. Badger! Be careful. Don't speak his first name. I hear that they start beating you if you speak his first name. You gotta be approved for that kind of thing, man. Yeah, that sounds like Blake. Uh, sir, if you don't mind me asking, do you have any idea where Blake might be? Yeah, I do. He lives up in Weasel Way headquarters all the way across the city. You can see the top of it all the way over there. Oh, that looks like a hike. Well, we could just use the handy public transport. True. All right, guys, let's get over there. Okay, guys, my stomach might start killing people if we don't go get some food. Can we please go get some food? Oh, right. Uh, come on, Springtrap. Let's go get some food. Oh, okay, fine. Thank you, sir. Can I at least get some money for all the information? I, 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 like, I'm sorry. I genuinely don't have my wallet on me. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <sighs> you know... Maybe I should start a cryptocurrency. Yeah, I know. This guy tried hitting on me at the bar. I'm like, honey, I'm taken. Well, yeah, it's because you're hot. Oh, come on, you know I'm all yours. Uh, sorry for startling you. Uh, what do you guys sell? Oh, uh, we 
we sell pizza stuffed biscuits. A biscuit? Why would you want a pizza inside a biscuit? That's like, that's like disgusting. I mean, hey, don't knock it till you try it. It's just a biscuit. It's not like it's like a cookie or something. What the hell is a cookie? Oh, no, popcorns. Biscuit. Okay, wait, okay, hold on, wait. It's crumpets, right? Yes, like like those little pillowy things. Yes, yes, we, we call those biscuits. Th wait, th what do you call biscuits? Cookies. Why is it so needlessly complicated? I, I could say the same to you. No, we're normal. No, no. Shut up. We're normal. We came first. I, I don't know. I just, man, I just, I just think our way's better. Shut up. <laughs> Would you just stop arguing? Right, can we just take uh, three, you know, uh, pizza stuffed biscuits, please? Whoa. You guys might want to slow down there. I don't know if the three of you can put away three. Oh, they're that big, huh? All right. I guess we'll just take one. Biscuits. We, we, what do you call crumpets then? Uh, no, that 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 that's just not in our vernacular. We just don't say that. Ugh! Alrighty, uh, coming right up. Oh boy! Oh boy! Yippee! I'm so hungry for disgusting, greasy American food. All right, here you go, boys. That'll be thirty-three dollars. <laughs> 33 what now? $33 for one food item? Yeah, welcome to today's economy. Uh, spring trap. Uh, I got everything taken from you when I was in jail. Um, candy. Why am I the only one who brought a wallet? Here you go. Thank you, sir. Let's dig on already! <coughs> oh my god, it's got so, so greasy and just delicious, I'm gonna die. Good lord, it's huge. Everything's bigger in the States, Pop goes. Just eat up and enjoy it. <sighs> All right, fine. <laughs> uh, is he gonna be okay? He's from the UK. He doesn't understand what flavor is. <sighs> I feel like my heart's gonna stop. Yeah, that tracks. Here we are. Weaselware headquarters, supposedly. Oh God, finally. The public transport here's a nightmare. I swear. Why is that subway map so damn confusing? I don't know, but we're here. Let's just find the CEO. I'm really wondering if it's Blake. I'm just wondering how he managed to do all of this. It's like this place runs the damn town, practically. Yeah. You'd think that some kind of business overlord couldn't just own the city. Suppose with enough money, that would be the case. All right, let's just get to the front desk. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 this is gonna take forever. Guess we just have to wait. Three hours later. <sighs> Spring trap, wake up, wake up. What? What? <laughs> I don't, I didn't eat the sauerkraut. What? We're next. Hello, ma'am. Uh, we need a meeting with the CEO. Uh, like, do you have one scheduled? Uh, well, no, but... <laughs> well, you guys just can't demand a meeting with the CEO, silly. We'll have to schedule a meeting for tomorrow. Uh, I can do that real fast if you'd like. Tomorrow? We did not wait in that line for three hours just to be told we have to come back tomorrow! Well, I'm sorry, boys. The rules are the rules. <laughs> I have an idea. What's that, spring trap? I have a bomb! What?! A spring trap? This watch on my side is a bomb. If we don't get a, a meeting with the CEO right now, I'll pull the plug and everyone in here dies, including us. This could nuke an entire city if it wanted to. Are you not worried we're about to get arrested right now? Okay, okay. Let me use the man. Just, 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 just right this way. <laughs> See, you just threaten everyone with violence and they do what you say. That's not a really good lesson, but you know, we're not from this universe, so I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> um, sir, uh, these three have uh, demanded a meeting with you. Ah, uh, Secretary Chica, don't you know? I'm a very, very busy man. I, I know, sir, but uh, they were kind of threatening with a bomb, and I just didn't want everyone to die. Why did you call bloody security? Well, it was kind of my life for a meeting with you, and I can't imagine they're going to do anything that bad. Bah, get the head out of me, side. Okay, he's in there. Yeah, uh, by the way, I lied about the bomb thing. I just wanted you to take us there. I'm calling the damn cops! Ow. <clears throat> well, hopefully this shouldn't take too long. This guy's got balls of steel. That's where he's an absolute moron. Hello, sir. Uh, whoa. 
Well, hello, Harvey Dent, if I've ever seen him. Hey. Blake, what are you doing here? I should have known it was you. Pop goes. Ah, you finally bloody found me. <laughs> I thought you'd never show up. Blake, listen, we're in a different universe. We have to take you home. What even happened? Oh, I'm well aware of that fact. Wait, what? Huh? Well, I ended up in a futuristic United States of America. Figured it was some strange fluke. I knew it couldn't be anything like the real US. And so it kind of took quickly in my intelligent big brain up here that I was in some alternate universe. Wow, oh, you came to that conclusion pretty fast. Well, of course I did. I'm much smarter than you after all. Ha uh ha. -huh. Anyways, it didn't take too long for me to start introducing the technological, you know, advances we made into society. I knew there'd be no way for me to figure out how to travel between multiverses myself. I am intelligent, but not magical. So I used my intelligent brain to make a tech startup, which quickly grew into a corporate conglomerate, and now I basically run the city. The mayor's an ant beneath my boot. <laughs> I knew you'd be proud of me. That's insane, Blake. I know, pretty proud of it myself. No, like, genuinely, that's insane. Also, I don't think I gave you permission to use Weaselware in this whole scheme of yours. Ah, who cares? I practically own the damn thing. You couldn't type on a computer to save your life. That's not true. I, I, I write up emails and stuff to s send out to, you know, different, uh, you know, billing companies and stuff. Yeah, on a Windows 95. Do you even know how to attach a photo on an email? You can do that. Anyways... We have to go back. Everyone really misses you, and you're part of our crew, you know? Come on, Blake, let's get out of here. Ah, and leave me corporate empire. Bob goes, you got me britches in a twist. I'm not leaving this behind. I'm so much better off than I was at your stinky little pizzeria. Wait, 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 what? You're seriously not coming? Why would I? Besides, you're here now. You can just bring everyone here. We can make this our home. We'll be richer than rich. You should see the girl I got at home. Real sweetheart. Huge knockers. That's very nice, Blake. What? Come on, you don't want to hear about me success? I'm the next Bezos. Bill Gates. They actually don't exist in this universe, well, that probably explains why, you know, this was so easy for me to do. Plus, Americans are stupid, silly folk. All they do is consume, consume, consume. Hey, we're not that dumb. Ah, you keep telling yourself that, kitty cat. Ah. Huh? It was so easy to weasel me way into their wares. Ah, get it? Because yeah, weasel wear? Pop goes, I hate to say this, your friend is kind of a dick. Oh, Candy, please, just... Blake, is that genuinely no convincing you? This isn't all worth it. Who cares about all this big glitz and glamour if you don't have your family? Don't you like things the way better they were when they were back home? You know? Just us? Being good friends? Well... When you put it that way. No, I actually like this much better. What? Blake? Come on, I did all the heavy lifting for you, and your name got to be on the sign of the pub. I get to own my own place. Weasel Wear's still named after me, you know. Perhaps I should change that. Badger Wear rolls off the tongue better. That's not even an alliteration. Enough money will make it one. I'll change the goddamn dictionary if I have to. You've plucked me in that nerve, Pop Goes. And I think we're just in time, too. Huh? What's he talking about? Oh, yeah. They probably called the police. Oh, I forgot I did initiate a bomb threat, didn't I? Ah! Me hands are up! Me hands are up! <laughs> oh! oh. Ah! <laughs> he totally nailed you! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> what the hell happened to a peaceful arrest? I don't quite tolerate scum like you. Besides, I can pay these folk to brutalize you as much as they want. Uh, you're a real piece of work, you know that? Can't hear you behind me, big bank account number. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Uh, are you right, Mr. Blake? Indeed I am, officer. Thank you so much. All right, well, we can take them right to prison. Actually, officers. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Badger? I'd like to keep the three of them here. Uh, get some rope and tie them up. I've got unfinished business with the three of them. Uh, are you sure, sir? They may have a bomb on them. Oh, trust me, they already told me there was no bomb. What I do want to keep on me hands, though, is this. Yeah, this seems pretty advanced, doesn't it? Uh, sir, this doesn't really follow correct policy. 
How's $10,000 sound? And I think this will follow policy just fine. Um, yes, sir. Right away, sir. What a rest, sir. We weren't going to arrest anybody. Have a nice day, Mr. Badger. You too, officers. You too. Oh. Huh? We're tied up. Uh, all right, screw this. We're getting the hell out of here. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Where's my watch? Oh, great. The cops must have contraband it from us when they tied us up. Not exactly. Huh? What in the... Looking for this, aren't you? <laughs> Blake, what are you doing with our watch? Tip the cops 20 G's in order to take you from them. Uh, wait, but Blake, what do you want with our watch? Well, it seems pretty technologically advanced, doesn't it now? Wait, Blake! Uh, wait, can, can, can we, like, shimmy over there? I can't really see him. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <coughs> oh, thanks, guys. Blake! Uh, wait, you, you don't know what that watch does! It must have been what allowed you to get here, wasn't it? Wait, th how do you know that? Because you just told me, you idiot! What? I, I, uh, shut up. So you almost have built this then, didn't you? No, I, I got that from the people at the center of the multiverse. They gave it to me to try and trick me, but then it broke, and we were able to use it to find you. These people at the center of the multiverse seem right powerful. Maybe they might want to spark a business deal with me. Sell off these watches and give them to the richest of the rich. I'm sure the upper 1% would love to take a vacation to a different dimension. You are like almost cartoony levels of the evil dude. Shut your mouth, weasel! Blake, we don't even fully understand what the watch can do. Just give it back! <laughs> to the likes of you, trying to take me empire away from me! <laughs> Not gonna happen. Now! Ugh, fits right nice around me neck, doesn't it? Wait, Blake, I'm serious, you're making a mistake here! <laughs> Stop! What is he doing? Oh, uh, what do you know? I'm richer than you. I'm smarter than you. I'm big, you're little. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm the adult, and you're just the stupid child. <laughs> okay, thanks, man. That was really needed. Ow, ow! Wait, Blake, stop! Let's see what this button does. <laughs> yes, it's working! It's working! Wait, Blake! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> huh. That's strange. Am I supposed to do that? Huh? What the hell is going on down there? Yo, is that Mr. Badger? Pop goes look! Blake! What's happening to him? Oh, oh God. Uh, yeah, I don't think the watch is supposed to do that. Jesus Christ! Get me out of this rope! It's like he's fused with the powers of the watch somehow. How do we unfuse him? And then we just take the watch off? I mean, that shouldn't be so hard. Medication wasn't made for this! Ah, go right! Uh, uh. You three have to fight the laws of the fanverse. With this badger as my vessel, I will bring the three of you to justice. Completely mad. Oh, poor Blake. Poor Blake. What about poor us? This really makes it. Wish I had that bomb right now. Oh, 
I'm the bomb. I'm the bomb! Guys! I'm the bomb! Is this really time for an emotional pep talk, Springtrap? We already told you we valued you. Yeah, man. This isn't really the appropriate moment. But yes, you are the bomb. No, I mean I'm literally a bomb! Oh my god, do you need medical attention? Uh -oh. oh my god, idiots. Whatever, you'll understand in a second. Why am I losing grasp on this vessel? I think it's because... I'm supposed to be the only one who's able to use the watch! Then I will simply keep it from you. Wait, why did I tell him that? God, I'm an idiot! Wait, I think I get it! Springtrap means whenever he goes near Blake... He loses grasp on the watch! So now we just need to keep Springtrap near him! You thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, no. Uh, the rope? Oh, right, yeah, we can make a lasso. Y yes, yes, we could do that. This is where your road ends, Spring Trap. Right. All right, Kenny, bring home the bacon! <laughs> Got him! Come on, come on, come on! Oh. <laughs> come on, Spring Trap! Get out of me, you morons! <laughs> <laughs> no. Give me that! <laughs> This is like, well, yes, it's kind of scary. <sighs> wow, uh, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I, I think I am now. <sighs> Look, Bob goes. I may not have always agreed with you, and I may have had bigger dreams outside of this stupid pub we own, but it's ours, and you were there for me, even when I didn't want you, so I'm sorry for turning my back on you. It wasn't right. Look, I'm sorry I never let you pursue your dreams. Clearly you had bigger dreams outside the pub, and... I saw with Sarah and Saffron, there's more than our family. And I wouldn't be a good friend if I didn't let you go achieve your dreams. Can I? I'll come back on two conditions. Yeah, anything. One, uh, can we expand the tech department at the pub? I just kind of want to do some more stuff with it. Shoot, if it can make this much of an income, then sure, go nuts. Also, can I have a raise? Sure, fine. <sighs> nice. <sighs> oh, bring it in. Boom! <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm sorry, Blake. Me too, Oliver. Me too. Wait, did, did he just call you Oliver? Wait, <laughs> don't tell me you seriously haven't told them! What are you talking about? His first name's Oliver. I can't believe he hasn't told you that. 
<laughs> Your first name is Oliver? Shut up. That's stupid of a name. Then why'd you make the nickname Pop Goes Up if it was so normal? It is normal. I just... I just don't like it. <laughs> oh, come on. It's cute. At least it's not like an ugly name. Shut up. Ah, I couldn't have the wholesome moment run too long around with me. <laughs> Spring trap! Hey, Candy. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't understand any of this. Neither do I, but... Hey, we'll figure it out together. Alright? Yeah, I know. <sighs> I need a nap. <sighs> Me too, pal. Me too. By the way, did you know Popko's real name is Oliver? <laughs> Wait, seriously? Tall, oh, you have to ruin everything! <laughs> Admit it, you missed me! <sighs> Shut up. Alright, let's go. Hey, wait, with you gone, is this place gonna be fine? Nah, don't get over it. If you say so. Man, that attack on Central Square was nuts today! I wonder if everyone made it out okay. Dude, check the news. Doesn't matter which channel. Oh. <sighs> Look at it, Carter. Look at all of what we've built. Isn't it really, truly beautiful? Um, yeah. So, lots of remnants we've got stored here. Scott, um... If I had to ask, what was your reason for, for bringing me here? Well, I just really wanted to ask you something. Do you truly believe in the fanverse? Well, um, of course. Why wouldn't I? Kane, the fanverse is more than your little projects. It's everything I've built. Everything conscious is built. We all exist in this strange conglomerate of creativity of the human mind. What we are capable of. So, you understand that these characters ultimately mean nothing, right? Um, yes. Yes. Because they're not Human, like us. Right? Yes. Good. Because I sense that you're losing faith in me. What? No, Scott, it's just... It, this... This things, it's just... A lot going on right now. Like what? <laughs> Scott, are you okay? <sighs> I'm sensing... He's alive. W w what? The variant. He's alive! I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the spring trap. The one with the burned face. How is he alive? It, the what must have burned out and he must have gotten control. <laughs> Useless! What the hell's going on in here? Uh, Kane, are you alright? Uh, I'm okay. You all knew, didn't you? You knew this whole time that that variant was alive. <laughs> it's like you said, Scott. What does it matter? He's just a character. He doesn't mean anything. He's insignificant. Whoever thought him up. Ultimately, doesn't matter at the end of the day. And he'll just waste away. That was under the circumstances that nothing like this had ever happened before. 
Everyone we've brought into the fanverse has stayed here. And now, the data has changed. I've been trying to catch him in my off time, but he's smart. He's strong. And that is exactly why we need to get rid of him. What we're doing is for the greater good. But he is a hero. Rebels. These hero types. They're persistent. Sometimes every obstacle will get thrown at them and they push through with sheer willpower. And I don't want to see all of you getting hurt. Because that willpower is strong. Stronger than all of you, no doubt. Although, my willpower is stronger. Find him. Find him now. Or there will be dire consequences for all of you. You guys think I'm his favorite? Shut up, Phil. What are we gonna do now? <clears throat> Simple. We have to find that abomination. Freak of nature. And kill him. Kane, Emil, um, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. What? Yeah? What's up? The thing is about these guys, well, it is plural. Springtrap's not alone. Wait, he's not? Who's he with? It's a variant of Pop Goes and Candy. Then we'll simply kill them too.